Hey, what's up guys? Uh, sorry, I posted a video yesterday and uh, it looked like it got cut out halfway through, so I deleted it anyway. I figured I'd do a follow-up. So uh, just a quick background. Uh, I haven't spent much time here in the shop. This is like a workshop for me. Uh, I'm in the maintenance industry, so I service a lot of tanks. I'm in and out all the time. So these tanks always end up, uh, I end up falling behind on the maintenance on these guys, obviously. I guess I'm so busy sometimes, no excuse. Anyways, uh, I had some time to tackle a flatworm problem I've been dealing with. So this is just a follow-up video to flatworm. Uh, exit was what I used. Uh, so take this as a worst case scenario. These flatworms were all over the place, literally. So when they die off, basically, uh, they release a toxin that can kill fish or harm your corals and stuff anyway. So I figured I'd just show you guys. Uh, I can't show you the before, I'll show you the after anyway. I'm cleaning another tank over here too as, as we speak. So I'll make this video short and sweet. Uh, this is uh, my Red Sea Reefer 425XL. Uh, corals still look like a little stressed out, but the lights have just come on. I like to keep easy stuff anyway, like mushrooms and leathers and stuff like that. You can't kill these things with a blowtorch. So as far as as far as far aquarium keeping <laughs> goes, my motto is keep it simple, stupid, and that will always be what I preach. And I practice what I preach, believe me, otherwise you make a lot of work for yourself. Anyways, um, I did a big water change before to vacuum out as much of the flatworms. Um, did the dosage based on how much total water volume minus however much rock I figured I had in the tank. It was a uh, water level was low, so I dosed for about 75 gallons of water volume. Uh, and it takes just minutes for these things apparently to kick in to start dying off, and you could see. But there was quite a lot, so I waited for maybe a good 30 minutes um, and did a, a water change, maybe a good 25% water change. So I might do another one still. And then put in activated carbon, obviously, to remove whatever is left after the treatment. So I'll just show you a quick video of the tank and uh, show you how it's cleared up nice. I gave it a good clean too. It looked like shit before. All right, hi. Check it out, guys. And this one over here, I'm just doing a water change on right now as we speak. So it hasn't cleared up. I haven't even finished filling it. And that's my uh, anemone tank. Problems. Anyways, it should bounce back quickly. I'm keeping an eye on it. I might do another water change. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Take care.